Hi there, today is day 18. I'm uh, very pleased again to say that I've lost more weight, yay! Uh, so yesterday was 82.4, yep. and this morning when I weighed myself, I was 82, so yay! I'm still going down, lost 400 grams. Um, obviously it's plateauing out a little bit and that's totally fine. Um, but yeah, so that's really exciting stuff. Um, had a busy day today. Uh, I thought I was more organized, but in fact, it's just ugh, sometimes I don't even think being organized is worth it because it doesn't matter how organized I try to be. Um, uh, it's just the luck of the draw if I actually get things achieved or not. However, I did, um, get some housework done which was fantastic floors are impeccable uh, rubbish is all out recycling's all done compost is all done um, I had two children asleep when my husband came home from work which was amazing and um, that was a good time for us to catch up quietly which we don't normally get to do however I uh, I did say, well, can I uh, do my exercises because I hadn't done them yet. So that was cool. So we talked while I was doing my uh, gym stuff, my uh, mini tramp routine, which is basically me jumping on a mini tramp for 10 minutes. Well, over, you know, 10 minutes minimum. Um, I'm feeling really great about this mini tramp thing I'm starting to feel muscles that I didn't know existed which is great uh, I have some really bothersome chunks of fat uh, what are they called saddlebags you know on the outsides of my thighs and my hips and when I'm actually bouncing on the trampoline I feel the muscles underneath those just like going you never used us before what are you doing and I can like feel the fat just melting off it's just the most amazing feeling so you know lots of sweating and I feel very um, I feel like my body's in, in burning mode which is a good thing you know I can really feel things happening which is so wonderful it's really motivating um, I'm in general feeling quite sore during the day, you know, the next morning, etc. Because of, you know, the exercise I'm doing. I'm not sore to the point of can't move, which used to happen, of course, when I was, you know, going to the gym regularly and doing, like, proper weights workouts, etc. Um, but, you know, I'm, I'm definitely feeling it and feeling it's making a difference and... Yeah, it's really it's really rewarding. I'm really enjoying it. Um, I went straight on to doing my floor workout, even though I don't have to do my floor workout um, on a Thursday, but I did it. Uh, I actually found that it's actually a really good warm down um, from my my cardio because you know after I've done my cardio, I'm like, ugh, ugh. and of course the first thing I want to do is lie down, so. I have a sip of water and then I lie down on the floor and then got straight into my floor exercises. Um, and of course these floor exercises, while they're core cool strengthening, they also really good stretches as well. So um, that's perfect. It gives me a chance to sort of cool down and as well as actually work. Because even when I'm on the ground, I'm still sweating. So that's, again, that's really motivating. And I, you know, um, go through the, the exercises and everything and slowly wind down and give myself a good stretch and yeah, it's, it feels really great. So I'm really enjoying the exercise. Uh, I'm really enjoying the very rapid um, improvements that I'm making, which is great. I know it won't last for long and uh, you know obviously I'll have to be doing things a lot longer for it to be um, sustained but that's okay you know after well 
coming towards the end of the first week so you know it's all very positive stuff for me um, diet wise uh, I missed one lot of um, uh, apple cider vinegar today um, that was just before my dinner um, just because you know, I was doing my exercises and everything and then during that the kids woke up and so we were kind of busy with you know kids and blah de blah and next thing dinner's on the table so yeah I missed out on having that before dinner um but I have just had my last one for the day so yeah it, it's kind of well you know I'm having it and it's maybe it's doing its job but um yeah it's, it's not the nicest thing but you know it's also not the worst I've, the worst thing I've had on a diet was aloe vera juice that was absolutely vile Ugh, ugh. So yeah, I would definitely choose um, apple cider vinegar over over aloe vera juice any day. Um. So anyway, in terms of food, oh my gosh, my husband, he's just amazing. He made the most divine salad this evening. It was just a salad, but it was capsicum and tomatoes and cherry tomatoes. So there were two types and. Um, which actually creates a really nice taste synergy so yeah I really enjoyed that um, cucumber onion yeah and then he used um, apple cider vinegar and um, a little bit of mustard powder and uh, pepper to make a nice little dressing which is um, uh, just tops it off it's just gorgeous oh my god it was delish so anyway, so I did kind of have maple cider vinegar, didn't I? Because I had it with my dinner as opposed to um, before my dinner. But anyway, um, and then earlier in the day, what did I have? Um, oh, I bought a packet of uh, a box of nectarines and um, white flat peaches. Oh my gosh, they're just so delicious. They're just amazing. So I had heaps of those today. Well, not heaps, I had probably about four of them. I suppose that's a lot. But anyway, they were delicious. And what else did I have? We had some watermelon and um, some cucumber and carrot sticks and mini tomatoes. So, yeah, that was lunch. Um, so, yeah, it was um, a delicious day. Um, I did all of a sudden have a hankering for tuna, though. Um, uh, and I'm very receptive to my cravings. Um, I often find that, you know, for example, when I'm quite run down and everything, I'll start craving like a steak, big fat red steak sort of thing, medium rare kind of thing. And obviously it's, you know, because I'm anemic, uh, and so when my body needs it, it sort of says to me, wait, of course, that doesn't explain all the ice cream, but yeah, anyway. Um, anyway, in terms of crapness and everything, um, so yeah, you tell me, look, see, see the spots? The spots are really bad today, um, especially on my forehead there. What the hell happened there? But I mean, you think about it, um, if someone was to look at me and say, oh, you should stop eating crap, and it's like, well, okay, what crap am I eating at the moment? And this is what happened last time I was on a diet. I was eating, like, literally no crap whatsoever, and I was having, like, major breakouts of spots. So all I can put it down to is, well, two, two things. One, it's the stress of being on the diet, because obviously, you know, it's, um, it's quite stressful to be limiting myself um, for things that I'm craving uh, and secondly detoxing so maybe you know because I'm getting I'm burning all this um, really you know fat that's been sitting here long term um, sorry my children are fighting even though it's like midnight and they should both be asleep didn't care anyway so yeah um, I'm thinking 
detox, you know, like the extra toxins coming out. So the stress or toxins. What do you reckon? Let me know your thoughts below. Okay. Anyway, it's really late. I'm really tired, uh, as you can probably tell. Um, I still have a baby here who's not asleep here, and I have a toddler who's dressed like a pirate. Seriously. She's just been playing pirates with her father, so she thinks she's awesome. Uh, and she's the captain, of course, so no one can tell her what to do. Mm. Anyway, so um, I'm going to try and convince her to go to bed, and I'm going to try and get to sleep. So thank you for watching. Uh, take care. Uh, sending positive vibes to everyone who needs motivation or love or whatever in your life. Good luck. Um, you know, all that good stuff. Sending positivity wherever you may be. Okay, take care and um, we'll see you next time. Bye.